Hey, Tim. Hey, Greg. This episode's brought to you by Video Blocks. It's true. What the hell is Video Blocks? Video Blocks is one of the most awesome stock footage sites of all time. I'm a huge fan of it. So. Have been for a very long time. We use stuff for Kind of Funny Live 1 and Kind of Funny Live 2. Yeah. They got they got stock footage. They mm-hmm. got graphics stuff that you can do. They got audio. Pretty much everything you'd ever need if you're a video editor. And a lot of the people out there are. And if you're not, you should try. It's a lot of fun. So what Video Blocks is offering right now is an affordable subscription-based stock media site that you can get unlimited access to all sorts of stuff. They have uh, unlimited data. Daily downloads from a library of more than 115,000 video clips, After Effects templates, motion to back, motion backgrounds, mm-hmm. and more. Mm-hmm. Uh, you, this is great for if you're going to stream, if you're mm-hmm. making YouTube videos like yes. us, if you're doing a crazy live event like Tim does. So, ladies and gentlemen, Video Blocks is offering our fans a year subscription for only $99. This is a $50 discount off the usual price tag for our listeners slash best friends only. That's less than $10 a month. I don't know what's happening. Get your yearly subscription today for only $99 at videoblocks.com slash greggy. That's videoblocks, V-I-D-E-O-B-L-O-C-K-S dot com slash greggy for this discounted offer. He's blocking the greggy. Now he's not. Now I didn't. Why didn't you tell me that's what you're doing? Nailed it. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Game Over Greggy Show. I'm one of your hosts, Greg Miller, alongside the producer slash seducer slash new haircut. Yeah, Nick Scarpino. Ooh, I went tight. Went the people's I went real barber. Tight. I did. Is that yeah. like whoa? That's it's, Nick's. It's called the people's. Spot. It's called the people's barber. Yeah. Hammer there's, and sickle. There's a couple of them. Uh, is it is it a tie-in at all to the Rock and the People's Champion? No, 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 no. Unfortunately. Well, actually, I've never asked, so it might. Be. Are there pictures of the Rock in there? Not one. Damn. No. That would be the thing not. where I would think that's what that would be the obvious. Tie-in. You think that if they were going to do tie-ins, at least he would show up at least once. The yeah. Rock himself. Yeah, well, I think no, not, that he, not that he would show up, but they would knock it off and just put it up there and have. Yeah, a space. I mean, like one like. Is spot. there a Brahma bull in there? There might be a Brahma bull in there. Yeah, yeah. I again, I have not seen one, but I, I haven't looked. Now that I know what Thank to look you. for, the next Please time go I go in, in, I will give you a full report. Thank you very much. That's all I want. You're welcome. Now we started this show before, mm-hmm. and this we is the second time exactly. Yeah. Kevin you made fun of my beat sometimes. cop shirt. No, I didn't make fun of it. I made a comment, and then you commented on how stiff it was. But then more importantly, we were, we noticed that you are rolling the sleeve still. Yeah, the thing about the, the, well, for this shirt particularly, you have to because it is so stiff. I've washed it ten times. It's it's gotten stiffer. <laughs> Why don't you just give up on it? It's like one of Kevin's shirts. It's a potato sack. You know what I mean? What that mean? Remember that time Kevin got, came in with shirts that were just like they were just like cardboard. That's because it came. It's because they're covered in it's covered in cum. It's because he accidentally wore that's a cum rag. That's day. happened before to Kevin Coelho here. In the Try to tell me that office. didn't happen. Good. I mean, I didn't cum on it. You, all right, so you wiped cum on it, and then you fucking put it on. I didn't do shit. You. Now, I'll give you maybe you didn't wipe the cum on this shirt, but you're going to tell me you didn't put the cum shirt on. You didn't do shit. Oh, yeah, I did. You just got up one day, was, and you were like this, and someone just, like the Jetsons. <laughs> <laughs> Paula just, like, slowly is putting his shirt on Kevin. That is the worst image of my life. Yeah, I'm happy beautiful. I don't need to clothe you. I'm happy I don't have to do a lot of things I'm to happy, Kevin Coyle. Yeah. I'm happy this is as much interaction with Kevin's <laughs> body as I want. God bless Paula and everything she has to put up with, I'm sure, at home. <laughs> Over here, the Pride of Long Island, Colin Moriarty. Go Jets slash Islanders. It's good to be here today. Uh, what happened, Kevin didn't, you know, fucked up the beginning of the show by not recording it, which is fine. It happens every so often. It's funny that it happened, though, because during PS I Love You, I was positive that he wasn't recording it for some reason yesterday. <laughs> And I was staring at him, and then he was gone, and all that. I'm like, because if we get an hour, like, honestly, God, if we got like more than 20 minutes in the PS, I love you, and he's like, I forgot to record. I'm like, well, we're not doing an episode this week, then, because yeah. I can't. You can't get that magic. I would think we just pick it up. Where it's like, hey, we did Roper's report. This there was there was 15 topics. We're at topic 11. We're just going to continue yeah. here. You I mean, you've you've heard the show. You can imagine. You what can we're just imagine. About. You know yeah, our yeah, opinions. Yeah. In fact, if we'd like you guys just to make, put up your own videos of what you think the yeah. first ten minutes. Because the like. miraculous thing about podcasts beyond back in the day, and I can't speak to it now. I don't know if the, if they've continued the trend. Is that are you trying to give me a pound? I'm getting ready to knock. But I'm getting Still ready preemptively. To knock. Okay. We never missed it. An, an episode was never lost. We never ever ever lost knock an episode. What is they say? Even every episode moving. that was recorded went up. Yeah, which is pretty cool. With the ex- Uh, it, we got close with the uh, PSN outage one. That was yeah. the one. It, we, we almost le- we almost lost. Which was it's which tight. is a which is a gold in one of the most popular episodes of Beyond ever recorded. Which yeah. would have been such a shame if it was lost. I remember, yeah, the computer locked up. Yeah, yeah. But, but did any of those episodes have amazing crosshairs on them? No, not like uh, PS I Love You and yeah. other shows that we've recorded. Like, like, a, like the world's slowest sniper. Yeah. 
<laughs> he's just Wind aiming. He's, it's aiming practice. <laughs> <Wait>. <laughs> just waiting. He just has that perfect he just has moment. A, he just has, a bino- he has binoculars. He has no intention of killing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He's on a scouting mission. Over there, the Pier 1 Tim Gettys. That's him host. How you doing, Tim? I'm great. How are you? Good. Congratulations with all the success you found with your proposal video. Thank you. I you said you that. wanted 100,000 views. You hoped you could give that to them as an engagement gift. Mm. They've, you've superseded that. Soared past it. How many local news sh- programs have you been on now? Four. Four, Four local news Four things. Local have news. you been on Cron 4 yet? No. That's the gold no. standard. So we've been hitting all the Sacramento stuff because she's from Sacramento. Sure. So that all happened. Okay. The Bay Area stuff. They keep hitting me up. Uh, they talked about us today on 96.5 KOIT. Yeah. Which Coit, uh, Coit Coit knows what's up. Kind of a, a big deal. Yeah. Very excited about it. It's weird. It, this whole thing's weird to me because my friends actually give a shit about YouTube views all of a sudden for the first time ever. Yeah. So, like I find them like refreshing the page over and over. I'm like, you know what this is like now. This is my life Addicting. all the goddamn time. Yeah. But it's weird because uh, you know, I'm used to doing shit and talking and being in front of a whole bunch of people. But the the news stuff, it's a different type of attention that I'm like, I like it. It's cool. It's different. I've noticed you've been wearing the kind of funny hat in some of these. I have. I've been trying to rep the brand a bit. Very nice. You know? Very I, nice. I don't know if you saw that interview, but I did pimp it out and I made sure to spell it out. K I N D A funny nice. dot com. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Just make sure the motherfuckers know. Yeah. I'm sure a lot of these forty five year olds watching. I'm gonna be over. real. I'm gonna be real. You know, throwing a little bit of shade here. Mm. Our set, a lot better than a lot of these freaking news stations thinking that they're all professional and shit. Yeah. I'm like, and they have the nerve to ask us to tone our shit down. I'm like, well, like, they're like, like, I was like do they? you want me to, to record it? And we have camera switching. We have all this stuff. I can just send you a file. And they're like, no, nah, we're going to Skype you on an iPad. I'm like, really? Really? That's what you're going to do? Yeah. I have this beautiful set. It's I can put literally news. anything behind it. And they're like, no. Nah. So what they did uh, for one of them was they took a, a camera and when they cut to us, it was their shot was them filming an iPad, yeah. Skyping us. Yeah, I'm I like, saw that. <sighs> All right. Hey, it's not your program. You not my program. About You're it. the one who wanted to be on these news programs. I don't want to be on news dying. programs. I want to be on Ellen. You know what you got to do next time is that you have, to, you have to have Kevin slowly change the background. So it starts as a normal cityscape. And it starts to deteriorate. Into and then porn. it just did chaos. Just like flames and people being shot in the back. Yeah. Basically like the last episode of The, the Purge Dead. or whatever. Yeah. One of the one of the things we awesome. did was actually live. And I was like, that's a bad idea. Yeah, it's a terrible idea. Horrible idea. Yeah. Why did you bring out your dick? Hmm? Did you bring I out your didn't. dick? That's the one where I wore the hat. Oh. Why yeah. was it a bad idea to be live? Who cares? I mean, be- they just trusted us. Uh, Not only did they just trust us, no prep time at all. Yeah. Like. The, there was a Skype thing. They set it up. They did a, like, they called us and they're just like, yeah, 922, we're going live. And it was like, all right, cool. We'll, we'll give you a call before it happens. Didn't give a call before it happened. We just saw ourselves go live. I'm like, okay, what's up, everybody? Yes, we're live. <laughs> this is a, this is a thing. But I don't trust these news stations. Don't they don't know a damn thing. No. I thought we were a garbage truck on fire. Oh, yeah. No. These, there's motherfuckers. They're who? <laughs> they're a biplane on fire. <laughs> yeah, it's bad. It's from, real bad. So how far are we away from Ellen? Give me a rough estimate. I don't know. At this point, we will either know or don't know because like this episode is going up super late. But mm-hmm. we're doing a hard push today. I don't know if you saw. Actually, I guarantee you didn't see. But uh, we did. We did a push today. We started oh. a Twitter video and a hashtag and everything. Oh yeah. wow! Okay. Hashtag so you, by the time you see this, know if it's worked out or not. Yeah. We'll but you, you we'll also see. know, ladies and gentlemen, that this is the game over, Greggy show. Each and every, I'm gonna fucking murder Kevin Coella. I'm gonna beat him to death with a microphone stick. Yeah. You. How many episodes have you switched now? You don't know. Do I have to go over there and label the fucking buttons wide? That was a bad tip. If you didn't know, this is the Game Over Greggy Show each and every week. Four, sometimes five best friends gather on this table. Each bring a random topic of discussion for your amusement. If you like that, head over to patreon.com slash kindoffunny where you can get every episode of the show early along with a bunch of exclusives and perks and goodies. If you have no bucks to toss our way there, no big deal. Head over to youtube.com slash kindoffunny where we post the entire show topic by topic day by day until it goes up as one big video the following Friday. It also gets posted to the MP3 services if that's your thing. Also, don't forget Extra Life's right around the corner. Extra Life Extra is a cool thing where we'll stream video games for 24 hours to raise money for the Children's Miracle Network and sick kids everywhere. You can go to kindoffunny.com slash Extra Life to find out. If you had to describe those kids, about it. how would you describe them? I would say they're the big, beautiful kids. Yes. So Wait, big and so beautiful. Yeah. We can't, you can't do this anymore, right? It's not called the NX it's anymore? The NS now. Do we have another thing for the show? I'm still like that. Do you do this shit? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'll take that. All right, that's I see you throwing up the X though, because it, know. DMX is still the one giving it. To yeah, us. no, I know. Which did you, did you guys see the DMX, video? Watch the video. One no, of the fans no. out there, uh, the big, the big beautiful kids, 
the, the, of ours, the best friends, uh, edited. He didn't even edit. He just took the Nintendo Switch commercial and put XCO and give it to you underneath yeah. it. And it and matches it up. It does really well. Perfectly. Yeah, it's it like, works. it's almost as if they edited it to that song and then they didn't get the clearance rights at the last second. They're like, I guess we're putting this. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Over. How I'm you gonna, like me yeah, now? Yeah, I'm I'm gonna, gonna, I'm gonna, gonna, definitely I'm that gonna, I'm gonna go out on a huge <laughs> limb and say at no point did DMX <laughs> enter any of their marketing talks. It's <laughs> just <laughs> huge limb. I'm you never know. You never know. Mm. Someone at Nintendo. Huge DMX fan. Halloween is the best holiday. Coming up. Come at me. No, it's today. Such a, it is today. When this posts, this will be Such a ridiculous, ridiculous thing. Your goof, this right. is where it comes from. I had different Come topics, you, of from course. which angle? I had different <laughs> topics lined up for uh-huh. I and my Rolodex, and then on Colin and Greg Live today, we stumbled into it. And Colin Moriarty claimed that I've never acted like a big Halloween fan, which of course is bullshit. And I went through and searched and found that I, I thought for sure I've done Halloween's the best holiday. Yeah, Greg, Instead, I've done Thanksgiving is the worst holiday. Greg went back. His, his claim to Halloween fame is two years ago, he made a video about Thanksgiving in which <laughs> Halloween came up. That's him saying Saying that he's a big Halloween fan. It goes that was back, the last time. It goes back to all, this is just Colin and I being locked in this loveless marriage for so long where we just don't listen to each other. He's like, You've never said that about Halloween. And like, I'll give you when I'm joking around and I'm doing something. I for sure have talked about how my love of Halloween and how much I love Halloween. And when I bought the fucking pumpkin mug, even if we're going to go that far. But then the pumpkin bread, which we've talked about, not even the, just this year. We had a topic about pumpkins last year. No, I, and I just it. did it again because I fucking like it so now, much. Now, here's the thing, Greg. Like I'm, not, like I'm not on Colin's side of this necessarily. I, I can't believe you're throwing me under the bus. But I'm not necessarily. Like I, I, I would never describe you as a Halloween guy. The pumpkins, I'd give that more to just pumpkins, not fall. so much like yeah, fall, Thanksgiving. I for even. sure in this nonsense, sh- Kevin. What fucking episode is this? Sixty nine. One fifty two. I sure. I sh- I, I, as sure as shit in the, the mm-hmm. we've run out of things to talk about forever ago who wants mm-hmm. to hear about Tim Grant or fucking Superman all right I guarantee I've said Halloween is my favorite holiday and talked about this you might have said it but you never I mean you don't live I it. have a steel trap I don't live it no you definitely don't and that's a lie that you have a steel I have trap. a steel trap the fucking power of lies is <laughs> fucking I have I everyone out there give me the one everyone out there understand <laughs> That. Give me the one Tim immediately eats shit out of his cup and is like, He's what? Like, I don't know what's wrong with this. Go, go. I have a steel trap of a memory. I remember everything, okay? The things that I want to remember. And when I don't remember there something, I just tell you that I didn't feel like remembering it. But you've never, uh, Tim's right. You don't live, Tastes you like don't Halloween. live the Halloween lifestyle. You never have. I've known you for 10 years. I've lived with you for more than half of that time. You're not one of these, you're not decorative in October. Mm-hmm. You're not dressing up for Halloween every year. You're not... It, watching a horror movie a day in October. Yeah, so don't give me your fucking nonsense. You can call it the power of lies. You can call it that. I am, and I'm going to call you it the power of lies. You can call it that. Yeah. And you might like Halloween, and you might enjoy it. And I'll, I'm, I won't begrudge you enjoying Halloween, and I'm sure you brought it up in the past. Thank you. I'm sure you have. Thank you very much. But to you... To no, that's point, good. You can just leave it there. I brought it up in the past. That's all we needed out, to cover. <laughs> a Game Over Greggy show episode from two years ago yeah. about Thanksgiving. Tom in Hawkins. which Halloween comes up, and that is your hallmark Tom example. Tom Hawkins find all the Halloween mentions in the Game Over Greggy <laughs> show. Everyone tweeted at Tom Hawkins with all the Game Over Greggy show mentions about Halloween. So let me, then, uh, let, me, let, me, let me play the role of journalist then, like I used sure, to. Sure, thank you very much. Why do you like Halloween? I'm going to ask you a question just like a journalist does. Because Why do you like Halloween? Halloween is the one holiday... That gets better, or at least stays consistently awesome the older you get. What? When you're a shitbag kid, you get to dress up and run around and get candy. You get into your teen years, you get to dress up and fuck around. Whatever you want to, mm-hmm. sp- you want to fucking throw eggs. You want to do others' dumb shit. Kills whatever. Me. You get to be old <laughs> enough where you want to make out with a good-looking chick or chick man. <laughs> Chick man. <laughs> they got those Chick too. Man. They got those too. You go to the Halloween dance or party or somebody's stupid ass Halloween party. You get to college, you're getting dressed up and you're drinking and you mm-hmm. you get to be 21, you're going out to bars now. You're drinking again and now there's all these women out there dressed up or chick, chick men dressed up in like the sexy outfits, you yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. You keep getting older, you keep aging up, you keep having cool parties. There might be a dead zone in there where you're like, oh, I'm too old to go to bars, maybe I'll just go to friends' houses and watch a movie, no big deal. And then if you want, you want to go have the kids, it all starts anew. Where now you're buying the kid the costume, you're getting the kid lined up to it. You're getting the kid into it. You're going to go out there with the kid. You're giving out. Maybe you, you say no the kids. kid one more time. I can't. Yeah, the kid. I can't. You don't. You don't. You don't have the kid, but you still like Halloween. You get a little older. You stay at home. You give out candy to the kid that come Is by. It, you know yeah. what I mean? But it's a look, holiday that's consistently awesome. There's you're no winning dips. me over. There's you're making no solid dips. points. And like, the best part about. I'm sorry. Go ahead. I'll, I'll, go ahead. 
No, no, no. I'm, I'm just saying, I, I agree with you. I, I love Halloween. I think it, I don't know that it's necessarily the best holiday, but it's definitely up there. It's the top 10 holidays. <laughs> um, <laughs> but what my problem with your, and your logic is a little flawed. Here's why. Because I, I still love it. I just don't have the energy for it anymore, right? And now I live in an apartment complex where only people that are, there's one kid there. And I, I guarantee he's not. But that's going the thing. You know, I mean, don't get me wrong. If you don't want to get, if, do you, you? If you miss that giving out, if you miss giving out candy, which I do, I remember I when do I too. gave out my last things in Columbia, and I was like, oh man. And then I moved, and I, you know, I moved into yeah. apartment complexes yeah. or the middle of nowhere <laughs> in a neighborhood that's not really Halloween focused or anything like that. Not really, the middle of nowhere, in the I middle of a city of seven hundred fifty thousand. But people. not in a not in a neighborhood. <laughs> Full of kids getting dressed up for sure, Halloween. Sure, sure, sure. Nobody's sure. coming by knocking on our iron gate door yeah. asking for candy. They better not. I mean, language barriers left and right. I'll just put them home like, 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 like when the, when the mailman Here's comes. the thing, though, is that Halloween <laughs> is a visual delight. <laughs> 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 Whether you want, but you're not going out. You're it not doesn't matter. matter. Yeah, you, you don't see do anything people. Halloween. You see people in the costumes. You're out. Sure. <laughs> it's a visual delight. <laughs> It is a visual delight. You get to see things. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if I'm insulted or flattered that every time you look at me is when you start laughing hardest. It's true, though. No, it's, it's totally true because wherever you go, at least you're in it, right? It's not like Thanksgiving goes along with each person after they walk around. They don't want a fucking turkey hat on. Exactly. Doling out pies exactly. to little kids. Exactly. Um, I just like the creativity that goes into Halloween. Uh -huh. And to me, that's, that's the one thing that I, I think I'll never let go of, which is that I always at least once... In October, think what would I be still if I if there were, if there if I had an occasion to be something? Yeah. Well, the problem is there it goes through. You're yeah. like it's late October, and you're like, what what would I be? Yeah. Next year, I'm gonna start planning yeah, exactly. in June. No, you're no. not. No one is. No, but like you could be anything, right? I could. I could. It's it's the one day where it's legitimately okay for me to walk down the street dressed as Batman. And that's why it's awesome. And people you can do like, whatever the fuck you want. It's yeah, cosplay but, but, outside but, of a convention. It's great. But that's our thing: is we live these lives. It's so commonly we get to do acceptable the cosplay. Fuck we want. Yeah, we do. How many times do you? Yeah, exactly. That's right. what we're talking about. But if I walk down the street right now as Batman, yeah. First off, people are like, nailed it. Secondly, they would be like, <laughs> why is he? Then they what, come what at is he you. doing? Right? There's no convention around here. This is not socially acceptable. Just walk down the street as Batman. People would think I was high on methamphetamines, and 50 percent of the time. They might be right. Well, first off, how dope's the Batman outfit? Because that's dope. Gonna, then they're not going to think you're high on, on points. Kind of means. On points. So they're going to think you're either one of these like superheroes in quotes that is like patrolling the city, or you're just on to a, you're on your way to a cool shoot. You're filming a YouTube that's video. That's fair. That's fair. What if I'm driving around in my Honda? And I'm humming the Batman. Then they Batman. will definitely think you're high on meth. Oh, that's the one you're. Oh, I didn't know. I didn't know. That's I got to go Adam West Batman. Is that the costume you're wearing too? I think it might be. But like a legit <laughs> Adam, not like that shitty one that we have. The shitty one we have is great. The Except for the eye holes that cut up in your really eyes. really hurts your eyes yeah, every exactly. time you wear that's it. That's true. That's, that's 100% true. Yeah. We can get another cow. So now why is Halloween bad? Why is it not the greatest holiday? How much holiday? time do you have? I, I don't know. 20, 20 minutes? Huh? <laughs> well, we did talk about Donald in, Trump so. for an hour twice. So I think we could probably do this. Uh, so the die has always been cast against Halloween for me. And here's why. Mm. I don't like candy. I never have. Oh, fuck. I never that's, will. That's you don't like dressing up mark. either, correct? Well, I did when I was a kid. So what I would do when I was younger was I would just sell the candy to my friends and like and this is this started when i was like in first grade it was a it was a fucking boon and then i would go to take the money to child's world or toys r us and buy gi joe's with it so uh that started there and i had some pretty dope costumes my mom used to actually make me my costumes and they were fucking awesome like i was a ninja one year like i told there's gotta be a picture somewhere it was a fucking perfect ninja outfit i was like i wanted to be like ryu or ryu i knew him as ryu when i was a kid from ninja gaiden as i knew ninja gaiden and uh you know as that went on and then you know i think it's when i moved to new england for five years or whatever, that in most parts of New England, they you go trick or treating on Halloween Eve. Mm -hmm. So that that totally blew you know threw me for a loop. I, mean, I remember very clearly the first year I was there, where everyone's like, "Are oh, you ready to go?" And I'm like, "What are you talking about? Like, yeah. Halloween is you know Tomorrow. whatever Friday." And they're like, "No, you don't trick or treat on Halloween. You trick or treat that's on super, Halloween. That's weird. It's mischief um, night." Yeah, mischief night, whatever, bullshit, they, whatever they call it. Real America. And well, well, in New England, well, they, it's just New England, though, right? Yeah, like, I mean, I don't know. They might do it elsewhere. I, I think we've looked into this in the past. We have maps. This has been an issue. I think it's mostly us. in New England. Probably when I talked about how much. Because I, I feel like when yeah. I lived in, I lived in Maine, New Hampshire, and Massachusetts, right? And I lived in Massachusetts when I was an adult, so I don't really remember the rules there. I think in Maine and New Hampshire, you did it on Halloween Eve, and I think in Boston, you did it on Halloween. But I think in the suburbs or like in Central Mass and Western Mass, they might do it on Halloween. I don't really know. And their whole thing, their whole argument there is that Halloween and like American horror is from Massachusetts. And their whole argument is that from Salem and all that kind of stuff. And that's how they do it. And I actually went to Salem one year for Halloween. And it was really kind of interesting. But 
Um, and for people that don't know Salem, the witch trials, a very old town in Massachusetts, really fucking creepy. I used to play hockey there sometimes. And uh, so I think I just kind of grew out of it because there was no real reason for me to get involved in it. But then it's like the, the reason that it's annoying is it's just this cumbersome holiday. It puts everyone out. You have to like spend all this time if you want to add money on costumes and then people are knocking on your door. You just want to be left alone in peace. So everyone just go the fuck away. Everyone stop. And my favorite thing, my favorite thing are the people that just put bowls of candy on their stoop and are like, just don't even. Just take whatever the fuck you want and get off right, my property. Right. You know, there was a guy next to me, Maddie and Sue, their names were when I lived, you know, when I was a kid. Um, and uh, they used to just disappear on Halloween. Just, I don't know where the fuck they went. They were probably at home. Just, just buried in their basement somewhere watching TV or something. I don't know. But they used to leave a bowl and people used to just, you know, very carefully kind of comb through and take what they wanted. But the last time I dressed up for Halloween was in college, uh, probably ni- or 19, 2006 or whatever. I think I was Spicoli from Fast Times and it was yes. actually awesome. I was, yes. It was actually a really great costume. You had the bagel um, in your pants. I had my, yeah, the bagel like tucked in my pants and all this like he does when he walks into the classroom yeah, and the yeah. one obscure scene of Fast Times at Ridgemont High. Um and ever since then, I just I just watched this thing. Like Nate used to throw Halloween parties every year, and, they were awesome and the hate. And, dope. and, and I used to just go. And I used to just go. Everyone's dressed Halloween. up in the costumes. I'm like, I'm here getting fucked up with everyone else, and all you are dressed in costumes, and I'm totally comfortable right now in a t-shirt and jeans. And I'm gonna get the fuck out of here in a little I while. I love that. I used to love. He used that to party. give. That was a great. He used party. to give killer. Yeah, right down there in the hate. So remember when Eric Hart tried to take it over and have a three story party. Yeah. Also awesome. That, was, that cool. was when we came over to try to get you to come out. You mm-hmm. refused. You came down to the gate of the house I didn't live in yet. They came down to the gate and said, no, go away. I was like, all right, well, you seem like a lot of fun. Yeah. You went away. <laughs> <laughs> I was watching some. I was watching, watching like, horror movies. Horror movies. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. So I I like the fall. I think it's a great time. Winter is my favorite uh, uh, season. Holiday, uh, season. But in terms of I like the fall turning of the leaves. The weather's getting. I mean, if you're in Boston, for instance, the weather's getting miserable now. And uh, I appreciate all that. But I, I feel like Halloween, it's just it's just kind of nonsense. It really is. It's just total nonsense. And that's, and that's, it's like but most it's of the other holidays we, we like. It, it serves no purpose, right? Like Thanksgiving serves a real purpose. Sure, it's based on a genocide of the Indians or whatever, depending on how you want to, but it really isn't about that. It really is about co- cooperation. But I understand how people might look at it like that. But it's a reason for your family to get together. You're feasting together. You're giving thanks for all the things you have, and you're watching three games of football, right? The most important part of it. Christmas is a time of gift giving and again family and all that reunion New Year's is, a, is, is, is rolling over the calendar all, there's all these 4th of July celebrating the country all these things Halloween's just like I don't know like it's just it's See, some the, fucking weird here, pagan thing I here's think here's the thing about Halloween and why it's great <laughs> is that it's unique so is Christmas though Thanksgiving could blink out of existence tomorrow and I'd be like I've lived Thanksgiving I've had enough turkeys I've had enough yams I've had enough of the bullshit that goes on there and there's also the expectation of getting together trying to carry a conversation with your family try to keep this going and what's happening alright cool always getting to that point where it's like you want to go but is it time to go and you watch a little TV or you hang out you have some pies like alright whatever mm-hmm. Christmas the same thing Christmas expectations wildly out of control Role? Are we spent? How much money are we spending? What are we doing with each other? Are you coming to see me? You're in a relationship. Which family are we going to see? Do we balance that out? With uh, how do we make all this work? All this. Anxiety. New Year's. New Year's on paper. Cool. We're having a party. We're staying up. We're cheersing at midnight. But New Year's the exact same fucking thing. It's a blink it out of existence tomorrow. I've had enough New Year's. I've I've seen enough New I'm Year's. I'm with you there. Where I don't we, even like New Year's that we much. We get together. We cheers. We're in, inevitably, even though we'll all make fun of it before, it'll end up on the Dick Clark now Ryan Seacrest fucking countdown thing. Yeah. All right. Great. The ball's going to drop. Great. The ball's going to drop. We're gonna, who the hell fucking Dick, cares about it? Dick Clark's sarcophagus on television with a countdown. Fourth of July, <laughs> of course. God bless America. I'm never going to knock this That's the greatest country holiday. in the land, of course. But Fourth of July is just. This is just a weekend barbecue in the summer that we could have had. We could have this all the time, except for like the the cupcakes being the American flag. That that's for America. Yeah, but I mean, no one. Even, like, what are, then it's just like going to go see some you shitty fireworks. It's We're not a go barbecue. See some shitty fireworks. It's a no, birthday party. None of these fireworks are going to go wrong. And none, you know what I mean? Like I'll tell you, the the best Fourth of July there ever was. Right? It was my graduation party. This wasn't even on July Fourth. I'm just saying it was a good barbecue. And we had a bounce house. All my friends were there. Again, you know what I mean? Like that's how good okay, it could so be. So wasn't even. It was a good party that wasn't on Fourth of July. And that's what I'm saying. Is Fourth of July? Yeah. You could. They're just fucking good barbecues in a backyard. Yep. Out in America, they're having a Budweiser. Halloween's different every year. Yep. Different costumes. People are doing I mean, different things. It's not different it's costumes. Shake it out. It's all shake it out. It's no, not. It's, it's not. replacing the different costumes. It was. It was the Joker, and then it's you know the whatever, dress, like whatever. Yeah, the and blue gold the, dress exactly. thing. And then all of a sudden, we got Harley right. Quinn this year. It's a, yeah. 
There's yeah, I can't wait to see 7,000 Harley Quinns. It's going to be very unique. But the thing yeah, I'm is, sure I, you're I not going to like that, you fucking perv. <laughs> slow jerking it by the window. <laughs> I, don't, I don't appreciate the... the you, you know that Thanksgiving people? doesn't matter because there's no Thanksgiving specials. <laughs> you're not seeing Thanksgiving TV specials. Yeah. Right? Holiday specials, they're always trying to prove a point and stuff. Halloween specials are just the jam. Like, that's what the most important part about Halloween is the entire month of October, you're watching Hocus Pocus. You're mm-hmm. having a good time. Mm-hmm. You're going to bust out the VHS of the, the Boy Meets World Halloween mm-hmm. special because mm-hmm. it's fantastic. Or now just watch YouTube because you're a grown-ass man. Idle Hands. Yeah. Idle Hands. Are the Simpsons yeah. still doing the Halloween specials? Yeah. They still Treehouse do Horrors, fantastic. That's what that's what you're dealing with. And yeah. That's why Halloween does get a lot of credit. Yeah. yeah. So and, and then, yes, the candy, which is great. Sidebar. You, it has nothing to do with anything we've talked about Halloween. We talked a little, we talked about, uh, we were talking about Thanksgiving, and I just came, it came to mind. I want to bounce something off of you guys, see what you think. Bounce it off. I'm going home for the first time for Thanksgiving since college. Okay. Aaron's coming, Lola's coming. All right. You think about bringing ants? <laughs> I'm going to bring ants with me and see what, ha- just see what happens. Uh, I haven't seen my six nieces and nephews in a couple of years. The oldest one's 10 now. Drinking age. He's almost, he's almost allowed to drink and do drugs, which is amazing. I wish I could do drugs when I was 10. Now, you could have. Uh, well, I could have. That's true. Uh, that I remember nice. actually upset. My dad had this pack. I, I'll never forget this because I didn't smoke cigarettes. I like, tried cigarettes until I was like in high school. Mm. But I remember my dad had this pack of like Cambridge cigarettes. Remember those? Mm. And it was just, they were just in the garage or whatever. And I don't know what it's like. It's just like, it's like a brand. Yeah, it's the brand. Okay. Like a red and white box or something, mm. and I remember taking one out and oh, like he was gone. He was at the firehouse or something, and I remember just obsessing all day enough if I was going to smoke it or not, and I ended up not smoking. But that's in a sidebar. Mm. The sidebar, the original sidebar, was what I'm thinking about doing because I'm not going to be home for Christmas. I usually send them presents. I make my mom wrap them and then give them to them. Yeah. Right. I'm going to bring them. I want to propose to their parents, their respective parents, that we all go to the mall, all six of them and all of us. And all the parents will, too, or just you and well, six kids in the car? Segment, oh, you can't drive. Perhaps we segment. Can the ten year old drive? Probably. He probably okay. he'll be able to drive before. Unless I can he's drive. doing drugs, in which case it's Virginia. Don't I think you'd probably be fifteen drive. or sixteen when, you, when you're down there. Okay. What I'm going to propose is segmenting the family, so Dagan's family, Dana's family, and Allie's family, and bringing the kid to a store of their choice, and then just buying them a hundred dollars, whatever they want, for all six of them. Yeah. Do you think that would be a pretty cool move, or do you think that's a cop out move? Oh, that's really cool. That's, that's really cool. Like cool if I was like, all right, uh, Finley, uh, whatever you want in Target, because he's obsessed with Legos and all this, hundred dollars worth, whatever you want, just go. Have fun. For and Thanksgiving? Then, well, for well, Christmas. Be there for, for Christmas. I won't be for the Christmas. You're so. about to make their Thanksgiving the best Thanksgiving of all Dude, time. I like that. But what you got to do is do it on the Black Friday and dress as Santa and just really mess with their heads. You know what I mean? Like, you can't go to sleep. We're gone and up right now to go to Target and take them right out afterwards. I, I, I Honestly, thinking back to being a kid, knowing what $100 meant to yeah. me when I was a kid, I think that you need to tell them in advance. I know that that's hard to think about, but if you tell a motherfucking kid you got $100 to spend at Target, think about it. They're going to be doing all this math. You're going to you're going to teach them a lesson about taxes. Yep. It's going to be you know. Colin great loves teaching lessons about at the taxes. same time. Yeah, no, it's going to be. He's going to be like, oh, I got a, I got ninety eight dollars worth of something. I got to put something back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. there you go. Taxes. Because like because the illegal sales tax is going to come and you're going to have to because the, you know, the government is stealing from you. Remember what remember what my dad told me, young Finley. The government will steal from you. And they'll take everything from you if, if it's not bolted down to the ground. And then he starts crying. Yeah. No, that's real cool. I've done that you before with the kids, the, in, the kids in the store. Seven dollars with Legos. We're like, like we're walking around and like they like that. They like that. And you're like, well, do you pick it up, put it in the car, and like, yeah, I'll, and I'll get it. For you. And they're super stoked. Yeah, it's gonna be great. Cool. All right, that's it. I like. It. I'm a big when, fan of that. When I was a kid, my uh, my aunts and uncles they tried for a while to shop for us, but then I think largely the intermediary they were going through just got tired of asking us and then telling them what we wanted. And that person's name is Mom. And so she just eventually started saying, just give them cash. And so from about 13 on, all I got was $100 bills from my aunts and uncles. That's awesome. And I got five aunts and uncles. Yeah. So it's pretty yeah. great. You're making some money yeah. there. Yeah. Fucking great. Right? So going back to Halloween for a second right. here. Nicole the uncontested and, best holiday because no one's offered a, a, a counter argument. You brought up. Christmas is the best holiday. Christmas is a shitty holiday. You holiday. brought up uh, that your mom used to make you costumes. Yeah. What costumes did she make? Penguin was one of them. Baller. Ninja was whoa, one whoa, of them. Whoa. Penguin as in Batman penguin or penguin? No, like, like a, a penguin, penguin, like an actual okay. penguin. Okay. I fell in a, put- a mud puddle and started crying. <laughs> you get There's up? actual Could pictures you get of this. Huh? Could you get up? Yeah, I don't think so, maybe. <laughs> but, like... There are pictures. There are pictures of me crying in this penguin thing. I gotta find them because there's a lot. I'm gonna go home. So my family's beach house in in New Jersey was destroyed by Hurricane Sandy, and so like we went and apparently all a lot of stuff was in the attic, thankfully, and so they brought it all back to Virginia. So slowly on Facebook, all of these random ass pictures that people are finding are coming up, and I guarantee you, 
there's the some fucking classics right there. in there. I gotta, I gotta find. But uh, <laughs> yeah, so Penguin Ninja, Magnet Man. I was one year. From, I want to see that. Uh, photo. Uh, of course, you um, a pirate. I think. So like the pretty much the classic. Yeah. No, my mom. My mom was a big seller. She did my first my first uh, Ghostbusters outfit, then my second Ghostbusters mm -hmm. outfit. Of course, <laughs> she made the jumpsuits for me and then painted on the logo. She did a fucking great job. The only criticism I have is that my Ghostbusters two outfit right said Egon on it and not Spangler. But I'm pretty sure talking to her, that's because I said I wanted that instead of that. I knew it wasn't canon, but I'm already playing. I'm playing fast and loose with this to begin with yeah. on who I am. Why not? Of you know course, what I mean? Of course. And then she made me a great Batman one to fit the Michael Keaton Batman mask I'd gotten that yeah. latex one. You know, you pull I wanted on that it, mask tears so your hair badly. out, and it sticks to your face, and it's yeah. all. Yeah, yeah. I wanted that so badly when I was uh, when I was a kid. There was a, a place called the Riverside Plaza. It used to be an indoor mall, and it was very sad. But they had one store. That was like this year round costume store. Mm. And every day, every time we went to the mall, I used to get a pastrami sandwich at this little bakery. And then after I was done eating, I was like, Mom, I gotta do it. And go to this little costume shop because they had the actual replica Batman cowl. Cowl. Yeah, yeah. It was, from it, the 89 Batman. I had it forever. I don't know where. I think I might have taken it to college and just dumped it there at some point. But I had it for a long, long yeah, time. Yeah, it was like it was like a couple hundred bucks. You had to baby powder place. it, put it, yeah. pull it on because it just fucking tore everything off. And I'm off like, I want that. So I tried so badly to get my mom to buy it for yeah. me. And she was like, I'm like, no matter what I could come up with, there was no real rationale for her buying that yeah. for me. I got. I got mine leading up to Halloween. It must have been, I guess, 89, right? Or Because it was a summer 89 movie. Yep. So it might have been that. Uh, I got, well, that Ghostbusters 2 was a summer 89 movie, too. So probably not true. Probably 90s later on. Anyways, I got it from Sunny Acres, which is like this thing uh, out off of North Avenue out in DuPage County or whatever between like St. Char St. Charles and Glen Ellen. I'm giving you all this very detailed information on how to get to it, though. But it was like, Sunny Acres is like tradition if you're in the area right you go there because they have like the rides set up they have the you, it's a pumpkin patch you get your thing they're cooking corn there and all this other crap you like your parents are excited to eat or whatever uh when i went back to visit illinois a couple weeks ago i went with poe on like the first weekend we took his three-year-old son jack there and I, I at some point I, I was like they're at the rides i'm like I'll be right back. I got to go in that costume shop. And I went in there. And I remember this costume shop. It was a huge barn, right? Just being thousands of costumes. And you go in there, and it's this dinky fucking barn. That's probably, it's been that big forever. But when I was a kid, a little kid going in there mm -hmm. and seeing all the crazy masks and gloves and capes and wigs, it was like this giant mecca of costumes. And now God. it's just like, oh, man, this is just a thing. I miss those days. The, uh, the other day, Tim and I were at lunch uh, at the, was it? In Ceremony. Ceremony. Oh, uh, Halloween And we drove store? past you know, one of those. It was like a pop-up tent of, yeah, the Halloween stores. And I, look, I was like, damn, we got to stop, dude. We got five minutes. Let's stop. And as he started pulling up close, I looked, and I'm like, nope, keep going. Just keep going. We were about it to. just looked janky It looked shit. so hot. It, yeah, looked it looked like it was so, going to be good. It looked like sweaty and hot. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. Uh, so what I was trying to get to earlier is my mom also made me my costumes. But I've said on the show many times my mom is quite quite the hippie. Yeah. Um, so she wasn't having anything fun. Yeah. Uh, and I, I wanted to you know, be an Ninja Turtle. <laughs> I wanted to be a Power Ranger or whatever. Um, so my mom did this instead. Kevin, take a time code note. This picture is going to have to happen. <laughs> are, you, are you a star over a rainbow? Yep. Are you a fucking sunflower? What is that? I was like the weather. Oh my God. There's that's clouds. There's is that rainbow. you with Bell? And that, the that weather is, that with is Bell? me with Bell, though. So shout out to that. No, that's a good point. I'll, Kevin, remind me and I'll send you tonight my uh, Ghostbusters photo, which oh is side God. by side then with the adult jumpsuit my mother made me as well, where she sewed all the patches on the things. Wow. This topic's brought to you by Casper. Now, did you guys know mattresses cost a whole bunch of money? Casper's mattresses aren't that expensive. In fact, you can get a twin size mattress for $500 or a king size for $950. And if you go, to casper.com slash kind of funny and under the offer code kind of funny you get fifty dollars off now you might say what am i getting fifty dollars off of to which i would say a mattress of course but then i'd remind you that there's two types of amazing technologies in a casper mattress there's memory foam <laughs> It's latex foam, and they come together like this, and then they go, ah, ah, and they become one amazing foam that you sleep on at a good cheap price and get a good night's sleep that is awesome. And wouldn't you like a good night's sleep? Go to casper.com. <laughs> kind of funny. Enter the offer code kind of funny, and you will sleep better on your Casper mattress. Guaranteed. But you, it's funny. You talk about your, you know, your, your, your mom playing fast and loose here with amazing. Halloween, right? Mm -hmm. If I'm lying, I'm dying, Colin yep. Moriarty. Do it. When I was growing up in unincorporated Glen Ellen, yep. and I didn't know right from wrong, good from bad, still don't. My parents consistently, over years, didn't give out candy at the front door. 
They gave out markers. Oh, God. And when Damn I it. say markers, I don't mean Crayola markers, nice markers. I mean those shit little pen markers you oh, get that are dead in things. like two seconds. And I'm not saying they gave out packs of markers. They would give a kid like two markers. And finally, and why? I have no fucking clue. No idea. This is, did this embarrass you? Finally, where like it wasn't even that I was embarrassed. Whereas like there was that final year where I'm like, this seems weird. Nobody else does this. And then the next year as we were gearing up for Halloween, I was like, hey, mom and dad, can we not do the markers? Can we give out candy? And they're like, all right, sure. I don't know what they thought, why they thought. And then a good uh, epilogue to this story. I went in my, you know, became friends in grade school with this kid, Ryan Wolski. And the first time he came over to play with me at my house, he went, oh, my God, it's the marker house. So like other kids were talking shit about our house this entire yeah, they time, were. And but I was rightfully so. Uh, I agree. I agree. Don't get me wrong. You get all gussied up in your Halloween costume that your dad may or may not have made for you. You walk to this one house, you yeah. knock on the door, big old Jamie Kennedy answers, yeah. and gives you a fucking shitty marker. I'm surprised. <laughs> yeah, we weren't egged all the time. I'd be things. like, yeah, it's good. Yeah, you would have gotten fucked up in my yeah. neighborhood. Yeah, yeah, not you perfectly. No, I know. You. Well, I know. I mean, I could have gotten fucked up too. I understand yeah. the the, yeah. the things my parents were rolling with there. Yeah. My dad made me a costume once, and then I told him this is never happening again. Because he waited to the last minute before I was about to go out to try and make me some semblance of the 1989 Mm. Batman costume. Nice. Now, the way he went about doing it, I forget what the actual cowl was made out of, but remember how the the 89 Batman had that, like, the bat kind of went onto the chest and then the symbol was held there? So my dad, like, kind of drew that on with marker and then was like, well, how am I going to get this rubberized chest piece thing? Took a... uh, Took one of those uh, uh, shower <laughs> mats, shower mats yeah, yeah, that have the suction cups in oh, yeah. it, cut out the pattern, tied it in the back with laces, but not before spray painting it. Yeah. And remember, this is right before we go out. Yeah. So I'm like, I look like shit. I am not happy about this. I don't have a choice, though, because as a small, fat kid growing up, I really wanted that candy. So I was like, we got to just get out. We got to just go do this. I got to hit up at least three to four houses to, to fill this candy. Out. They'll take pity on me. Some people will give me some extra candy. It's not a big deal. <laughs> Little did I know that, and maybe I guess no one knew it back then, spray paint, not great to inhale. No. Just on a consistent basis, especially as a young, fat kid who's going up and down hills. Very Taking hilly in deep area. breaths. Taking in those big, fat, deep breaths. Uh, I've never been less happy in my entire life than that, than that night. But I got the candy. And or more stoned. Okay. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I forgot. I think that at that point, my brother was just not having it anymore. He just wasn't doing it anymore. But that was like on the cusp of when he was like, hey, I'll just go do drugs and try to have sex with girls. That. God bless I guess him. that's the level two of your Halloween. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. All right. Halloween's the best holiday. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen.